I'm now joined by our second guest for today, Sharon Fisher. Uh, she's the Vice President of Livingston Arts Council and also plays a very integral role at the uh, Howell Opera House. So welcome, Sharon. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you for joining us. I'm going to let you share a little bit about what you do kind of with the Opera House and uh, what your role is there along with the Livingston Arts Council. Um, so I'm going to hand that over to you. All right. Um, my role with the Livingston Arts Council um, uh, is huge. It's a uh, role that brings art and cultural activities to the Livingston County, all the communities here. It's been kind of a short-lived thing um, through the years. Uh, this is such a rural community uh, that art and cultural kind of took a, a back seat through the years, but hopefully between the Art Council and the many uh, art organizations throughout the county, um, we can bring it back and strong because art is such a huge amount uh, of uh, time and, and patience and all the things that put it together to make it part of your life. But it's so important. Um, it really brings a vibrancy to a community. Absolutely. And, um, art matters. It does. Absolutely. So um, now the Arts Council serves all of Livingston County, correct? That is correct. Now, is the Howell Opera House umbrella under the Arts Council, or how does that work? Are they two separate? <laughs> the, uh, yes, the Art Council owns the Howell Opera House okay. building, so it, it is our home. Perfect. And through this building, um, we plan a restoration and to make it the art center of the county that will take in all the organizations out there that they'll be able to come and present their programs and do their things at the Opera House. That's so exciting. Um, and, and that's needed. It's, re it's really nice um, to, that you guys have that home. And um, for those of th that may be listening, where is the Howell Opera House located? The Opera House is 123 West Grand River. It is uh, downtown Howell on the south side of the road at the corner of Walnut Street can't miss it. Yep, yep. <laughs> what are some of the bordering businesses there? Um, across on the west side of us is the Howell Winery. Okay. Um, on the um, east side of us is the Black Iron Coffee Shop. Okay, awesome. And then across from us is um, the McPherson Oil Company. Great. So that, that, that I think helps orient people too a little bit, you know? Yeah, try to find us. <laughs> right. Absolutely. So again, I would encourage you, if you haven't been to, um, out, go for a visit. Um, so so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that too. Uh, but uh, how, how did you become involved in the Opera House well, and the Arts I'm Council? I'm an artist and um, of course we need people involved in the arts to uh, make things happen at the Opera House. So going back a lot of years, Jeff Stamm was originally the president of the Livingston Arts Council and he hunted me down for um, about three years, kept after me to come and join. Um, and I finally did. And it wasn't because I didn't want to, it was because I was just a very busy lady. And now I have not regretted it for one minute. It's part of my life. So how long have you been? How 22 years. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's amazing. So yeah, it really, um, it kind of sucked you in, huh? Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're lucky to have you in that role. Um, Sharon, I know that you've um, been really just kind of uh, spearheading a lot of these efforts in, in, in many ways. And um, it's just great to, to have the arts and have somebody kind of in these roles that has such a passion for the arts for our community because you can see that um, it really shines through. Yes, yes it is great. Um, I know that it's opened a lot of doors and a lot of windows for people, um, for artists that uh, didn't know where to go, didn't know what was out there for them and we certainly help them in every way we can. Absolutely. So um, I wanted to just talk a little bit too today because I know that um, the Opera House, there have just been so many, um, when you talk about the arts, you guys have brought in so many different events and, and things that really um, contribute to the overall cultural uh, makeup and aspect of, of what, what we can have here in Livingston County. Mm -hmm. And it really supports a, a nice diverse mix and um, like you said, art is so important and valuable. Um, so, so when you're 
talking about the pandemic and gatherings and things, um, you can't do that type of stuff or you haven't made, you know, made, so what, how has that been impactful to the Opera House and where well, are you guys at today? In 2019, we had over 300 art and cultural events at the Opera House and over 200 rentals. Uh, rentals is what really supports the Opera House uh, because the arts, you know, we try to offer as much as we can for free or, or very inexpensively. Mm -hmm. Um, the and I'm pandemic, sorry, what, what were the rentals? I'm sorry. What were the rentals? Over 200 of them. Right, over year. 200. And that's where somebody yeah. could actually come in and Rent utilize the, building, the space. Yes, uh -huh. okay. Whether it be weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, individual art programs uh, for um, private individuals, you oh, know, awesome. that want to do a show or something like that, you know. So there's many, many events that we've had. Um, as a rental organization. Absolutely, that's huge. So 2020 hit and everything was canceled for the year. It was a, a total shutdown. And uh, 21 has improved, but it's it's slowly coming back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, you know, you guys had the total shutdown. When did you come back on, online and start and doing some different Basically, things? Basically, uh, January of 21, we started back in. And mm -hmm. so one of the reasons why I wanted to um, invite you into the studio today and, and, and share um, some of the events and, and things that are going on um, with our li listeners is because I, I, I want to make sure that people know that the Opera House is, is back. And the, um, so, so what are some things you guys are looking forward to this year? Well, right now we do have Acoustic Cafe every Friday night and we do have two weeks left uh, this Friday and next Friday. And after that, we go into two weeks of Got Art, and that is our children's art shows. And uh, it involves all the schools in Livingston County, whether they're private or public, and uh, any homeschooled children, everybody's invited to participate. And um, it's pretty exciting. It gives the children their first opportunity at ex displaying their art and realizing that they've done something wonderful. And uh, hopefully uh, it will continue for years. We've done it for about 20 years now. Okay, and now is this the first time that you're able to host that program since the pandemic? Yes, we did do it virtually last year. Okay. And um, I was very surprised at uh, the reception for it. Um, people really got into that, you know. Oh, that's a, that's great. I, you know, I think that we've had to get really creative and think outside the box on a lot of these For things. For sure. <laughs> and I think that it's been, um, you know, really well received just because I think people have just been so eager to, to reconnect. So it's it's nice to hear that the program's coming back in, in more of a traditional format this year. Yes. So what else is going on? Well, we have a uh, quilt show coming on March 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And... Um, our special guest is Sue Frazier, who is from Fowlerville, and she's a retired English teacher from Fowlerville High School, and she's going to present her book on quilting. And it's not just how to do it, because there's none of that. It's, she's a collector, and she has traveled uh, going to different sales and uh, just finding them in her travels on vacation and stuff quilts that look really bad and everything and she rescues them and um, brings them back to life and then she writes their story and um, it's a very interesting book and she's going to do that presentation at 7 p.m. on the 23rd. The oh, book cool. will be for sale and she will sign it and then the next two days are uh, going to be local quilters having their quilts on display. Awesome, well that is really exciting. Um, and I know you guys have a ton coming up. Like you said, you do a ton of events um, throughout the year. I, I do want to ask, um, what are you anticipating for the summer? The summer we have concerts at the courthouse and they are all scheduled and it's from July 1st every Friday until August 26th. And it's a wonderful free event. And we average, uh, about 1,500 to 2,000 people. At least, and yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very exciting and it's a wonderful evening. You bring your chair, bring your blanket, and uh, it's a great for the whole community. People come downtown and go to the ice cream stores, they go out for dinner, and it's, it's wonderful. 
And that's Please put on down. by the Arts Council, correct? That is put on by the Livingston Arts Council. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. No, that's exciting. So are there eight concerts to total? Or? Oh, there'll be nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So nine opportunities to get out um, and mingle with uh, everybody in our community. I, I love concerts at the courthouse. It's just kind of like this big community block party, you know? It is. <laughs> it is. It's, a, it's a very much a social time. You know, yep. People come and, and mingle and talk and enjoy each other's company. Right. And they get up and they dance and they sing. And it's a wonderful, a wonderful evening for everybody. Well, I think we're all just really eager to kind of reconnect and, and have that sense of community again. For sure. Mm -hmm. so, one, wonderful. So that is exciting. That's something to look forward to. If somebody was looking to book an event at the Opera House, how might they go about doing that? Um, they could call our office at any time or look on our website. Our office phone number is 517-540-0065 and uh, Nicole, our office manager, will probably uh, answer the phone or if not, leave a message and we'll call you back. Okay. And what kind of events do you guys host? So you mentioned rentals earlier, so you, I mean, I know you just said artist events. Do you do like um, any showers or? Oh yes, we do lots of showers, baby and um, okay. uh, bridal showers. We have graduation parties and oh, weddings. Oh, I wouldn't even, didn't even think about graduations, yeah. yeah. And ceremonies, um, sometimes they're done together and sometimes separately. We have photo shoots actually in the um, Opera House on the second floor. Uh, a lot of graduates come and want their uh, pictures oh, cool. done there. Um, Howell had all their graduations there between 1881 in 1924 because the school didn't have a gym gymnasium or a um, community gathering place. There was no place. So everybody came to the Opera House. So we had 801 students cross the stage for their graduation ceremonies there. That's amazing. So people connect with that today when they come for their pictures. So if you, if you um, are listening, you might already uh, picked up on this, but Sharon is also a bit of a historian when it comes to the Opera House. Um, so I just wanted you to touch on real quick, um, tours, is that something? Yes, if you would like a tour for uh, friends and family, just call the uh, Opera House anytime and we'll set it up. Um, plan on about an hour to an hour and a half and I'll take you all the way through the building. And it's a, a wonderful experience, there's a lot to learn and um, you'll find yourself very excited about what happened at the Opera House. It is. I, I will give my testimonial and little plug for it, but I've been on the tour a few times and every time I learn something new from Sharon, it's always a new experience, a little bit of a different tour, a little flavor, taste, um, but just a, always a great experience. So thank you um, for that, Sharon. We are, it's truly an asset to have you there and just to be able to share those different experiences, perspectives and history on the nature of the Opera House and what a gem in our community. It is. Uh, the Opera House has always been a backbone um, yeah, it is. It has. of the community, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you sharing about the Opera House, and uh, we look forward to all the good things to come. Thank you very much for having me.